September is Blood Cancer Awareness Month, and it is the third leading cause of cancer deaths in the U.S. That includes leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma, and Hodgkin's disease. But a new treatment is helping people live longer. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding tells us about CAR-T therapy. While more than a third of blood cancer patients still do not survive five years after diagnosis, the groundbreaking CAR-T therapy is helping a lot. It falls under the immunotherapy umbrella and utilizes the body's own white blood cells. Doctors say collectively different types of blood cancers account for approximately 10% of all cancers diagnosed in the U.S., with about 170,000 cases diagnosed annually. Dr. Muhammad Haj Mustafa explains while the exact cause of blood cancer is not fully understood, certain risk factors are there. There are certain exposures that are linked to cancer in general, such as toxic chemicals, radiation exposure, increasing age, smoking, and certain genetic disorders, such as Down syndrome, for example. Once that diagnosis comes, CAR-T cell therapy is a good option. It stands for Chimeric Antigen Receptor T Cell Therapy. Dr. Mustafa explains that with this therapy, doctors take the patient's T cells, which are responsible for their immune response, and essentially re-engineers them to target that patient's specific cancer. Now, then we re-infuse these modified T cells back into the patient uh, body to seek, uh, to seek out and destroy the cancer cells. The results of CAR-T therapy are encouraging, but Dr. Mustafa says no matter what, staying on top of your health from the get-go is still your first line of defense. Leading a healthy lifestyle, avoiding exposures to known carcinogens, and regular checkups can help with early detection of these cancers and could, uh, um, you know, lead to better outcomes. Evolving technology, helping cancer patients live longer. Mayo Clinic has information on how CAR-T treatment has improved remission rates with different blood cancers. To learn more, visit this story on newsforjax.com and click on the link inside. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.